Hello and welcome to this video. My name is David Thorne. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a, a MySQL server uh, using Docker Compose. However, we're going to be using a MariaDB server. Um, there are pros and cons against using MariaDB. That's not the part of this one video tutorial. It's just to show you how you can do what you have to do to set it up using Docker Compose and a YAML file. So, um, without further ado, let's get started. Now, um, let's initially first create a docker uh, compose if i can type correctly docker compose a yaml file now i would advise um, not doing this through um, vim editor because you can have some problems with tabs and so on and uh, i would just suggest you do it this way um, anyway so there's a couple of uh, things that we need and we need a version first of all and I don't want to get into this, but it's just probably easier to use version 3 rather than version 3.1 or 6 or 8 or something, uh, depending upon whether you're on Linux or Mac or, or Windows or whatever, version 3 is going to be enough. It's going to be adequate for this one uh, tutorial. Okay, so we're going to need one service in this. It seems a bit silly to use one service, but you would want to do more services, for example, like a PHP service, and then, I don't know, an Nginx service, and then have your MySQL uh, service. So let's just assume there were other services here right and we want to have um, uh, volumes as well because we want to be able to persist the data um, yeah over a long amount of time regardless whether this one docker container is up and running stopped or removed or whatever we want to know there's always a volume there's always a, a, a point of data a point where the data is always going to get persisted should we say and we also want to talk about networks all right we want to be able to talk to this one uh, mysql server from other services uh, as well and by default you always get put on to the the, the default network and, and docker will want you to add a network too so with that said let's add a, uh, a our uh, network that we're going to use and we're literally just going to say mariadb underscore network now uh, the volume that we're going to use is we're just going to call it MariaDB underscore uh, volume, something nice and simple. And if that doesn't exist when we run Docker Compose up, this uh, volume will get created. And when we do Docker Compose down, this volume will still be there unless uh, we then t tell Docker Compose down to remove all volumes. We might go through uh, later. Anyway, whoops, with that said, we'll create our uh, one uh, service. And I'm going to call it MySQL even though we're going to use the um, Maria, uh, Maria uh, DB uh, image. Now, I know that the latest version is 11.1. Um, I don't like using the latest tag. I much prefer using a, an actual version because it means that, that you know exactly what version you're installing and you're not just going to get any random bugs or any random features, new things that you weren't expecting, especially with a MySQL server or a database. You want to know that you've got full control over it. Anyway, a, uh, a good uh, practice is, uh, is just to give it a container name and I'm going to give it a container name of MariaDB here, even though we've called our service name uh, MySQL. And the next thing we want to do is add some environment uh, variables, all right? And these are super important because it won't work otherwise. So, well, it will work, but you're just going to get an error. Um, so we've got to say MariaDB underscore uh, root password. And we're going to say one, two, three, four, five, six. Why would we want to do anything else but that? Now, there are a few other um, environment variables, environment variables that we could use. But for the time being, I'm just going to say this one. Okay, next thing is we want volumes. And as discussed, we've got our MariaDB uh, volume here. And this is going to be mapped to var lib mysql with inside of uh, the, I've spelled MariaDB wrong. Let's change that, that's better. MariaDB, yes. Okay, so um, this is then going, this volume is then going to be mapped to this one folder. So when the, uh, the container originally gets initially gets started, should we say, then all of the contents of this one MySQL folder will literally just be copy and managed, copied and managed by uh, Docker itself. Now, I wouldn't worry too much about where uh, this gets saved. You can care about it, but I, what I wouldn't do is map it to a directory on your local machine because Docker doesn't like that and it's it's far more efficient 
the two map it to a volume and let docker worry about all of the file positions or uh, per permissions and, and so on okay there's a lot there's, it's the rabbit hole there to talk about okay so now we have this volumes there might be some other like say uh, my conf uh, data that you might you might want to map um, here we're not going to do this but you might want to map this uh, data this would be the point where you would want to do that right next thing to do is then add it to a network and as discussed already we wanted to add it to the MariaDB network there are other configurations for this but we're just going to leave it as is right now now then the final one is then the ports now, just for the sake of being different, let's say 3307 rather than 3306. So this one port is going to be uh, the port that's going is open on our local machine, and the port that we're going to map it to with inside of the container is then 3306, as expected uh, by uh, the MariaDB uh, image it itself. Okay, there are other ways of changing this one port, but by default it's listening on this one port anyway and you would use environment variables uh, to change it or you would use a configuration file to change it but that's a, a, another tutorial and it's not really about docker compose because you just got to map any files using volumes anyway so now that we've done this we've got the image there we've got the container name there we've got the environment variable there that we want for the root password we're not going to be creating an initial database because uh, well you can do that if you want but there's no need for this tutorial okay with that said let's save this and let's come to our uh, terminal and just to show you that the file is in there and um, fingers crossed and it should all work perfectly fine and we can see that we've I'm not running it with uh, dash D because I want to be able to see any errors that are going to happen if they happen and uh, I like to do this the first attempt and as you can see we're just scrolling through and we're not getting any any errors port 3306 and we've got a socket as well which is all super super fine and uh, yeah it's all good so we can just close this down okay so now that we've 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 run it up uh, we should now know that the volume is created and we can now say docker compose up dash d and uh, this will go a little bit quicker now and we can see that container Maria D start uh, Maria DB started. The network's already there, and the volume was already there as well. So we can now come and say um, the MySQL client on my machine. I'll just say uh, user is then root and password p and one two three four five six, and we can't connect to it because we put it on another port. And this is the clever thing about it is that we've kind of like we're kind of like helping we're not helping the uh, penetration testers or any of the hackers and so on by giving them a clue we've put it to another port 3307 it's not that much help but you could put it to like a higher number and then they wouldn't know whether there's a MySQL server running um, so let's just run this once again and uh, we're not allowed to go through it's okay that's because of the host six and now you can see that we're in um, when you run it like this you need to know that you use uh, you need to use the loopback address um, rather than local host because local host actually says it's on that local machine and we're not on that local machine we're on another machine we're using docker so now that we're in the machine um, we can then say uh, show uh, databases and you can see that the, the standard uh, databases and if we just exit out of this we can also execute the same thing by saying docker execute or exec and then dash it and we're then going to say a mysql and then just for the sake of interest let's just show you uh, what we've got here so the the image name or the container name is MariaDB because that's what we told it, it to name it with inside of the container underscore uh, name here if we hadn't have put container underscore name it would have used mysql as well so let's just say docker executes whatever and uh, just say maria db and inside of this we're actually going to to execute maria db as well and i'm going to say user root and then um, p and let's just see what we get with this and as you can see we actually do get it inside because it defaulted uh, to the local uh, local host anyway Okay, there isn't really anything more to it uh, than that. If you wanted to create a, a database on initialization, then you would put it in here basically. So you would then say uh, MariaDB uh, database name, and let's just say David, 
and then MariaDB, uh, and then uh, if you want a user to be created, or well, let's just change that to MariaDB underscore DB. And if you want the user to be created in the beginning, and if you wanted a, a, a password for the user, then we would write it correctly. And then it would be uh, set here. Now, we now know that the volume has been created. So making changes to this means it's not going to initialize the database uh, once again. So this is not going to work anymore. So what we actually have to do to this is come here and say, Docker Compose down and then dash V. And this will dump all of the, the network and also the volumes as well. So it means now that we can, uh, now we can actually run uh, Docker Compose up again and we can look at what the script says. And uh, as we go through, we should be able to see where the database has been created. Da, 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 da. Open three, da, 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 da. remove pull. Yeah, creating user David, giving user David access to schema, David underscore DB. Schema means database. It's just that the words are synonymous to each other. Okay, so now that we've got this, we can exit out this and actually give it a dash D instead. And we can run the exact same commands that we wanted to before, this time saying uh, dash, uh, or so user with uh, David. And you can see that we get select uh, user and we are David at uh, localhost. So uh, a final point, let's just quickly look at um, Docker PS to show you um, this because we didn't actually have a look at this. Um, we can see that uh, the uh, MariaDB uh, container has been up for about a minute and it's uh, listening on or our host is listed on 3307 and that's mapping to the container of 3306. And you can see that here it's listening on every single interface uh, here. Now, if you had the, the important note is that this network is that if we did have say like a, a PHP uh, server and this was, I don't know, um, PHP um, F, FPM, right, uh, 8.1 uh, dash FPM. I think it's that. Anyway, if it was a, a PHP here and um, you wanted then to access uh, the MySQL database directly using uh, a network connection, uh, you would have to make sure that you will put your uh, network on here. Um, okay. And now they can talk to each other with inside because um, they, they, they've got the host's name. They, they know that MariaDB is connected. That they can access it through the container name, basically the host name. Um, but that's another video tutorial. Um, with that said, uh, thank you very much for watching. If you do have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below. If you did like it, give it a like. If you disliked it, I'd much prefer you tell me why you disliked it because then I can maybe make another video or, or do something to, to change uh, your opinion because your opinion is super important to me. Otherwise, um, thanks very much for watching and there'll be more than likely a video being recommended on the screen right now by either myself or uh, YouTube. And there's a whole bunch of other videos on, on my channel uh, that might interest you if you're interested in uh, learning about MySQL or programming, etc, etc. Thanks very much and uh, I, I wish you a nice day. Ciao, ciao and goodbye.